Let us see what will happen to us in the paradise of Allah. In Jannah, in the paradise, ma la ra'at. There is no such eyes can even see something like the Jannah. Wala udunun sami'at. Not even the ears, you cannot even hear about the true Jannah because the Jannah is beyond what you are hearing. Wala khatara ala qalb bashar. You cannot even imagine, you cannot even describe or, or think what is the Jannah. Uh, before, let me describe something beautiful about your castle. Uh -huh. Your castle in the Jannah. It's something so beautiful. So beautiful. Your castle in the Jannah has four doors. Four doors. You enter from one door. And one door or one gate, your servants from all kinds of servants would come and enter to help you. You have 70,000 servants 70, in the paradise, in seven, that castle. 70,000 70, in that paradise. Wow. Imagine this. Imagine. And one door, mm -hmm. there's one door you enter, one door your servants, and one door there is a special angel who come to you every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday, they come and they visit you on the Friday, have a small card in his hand. You have a small that angel card. have a beautiful small card in his card. hand. Mm -hmm. And guess what is written in the, in the card? Oh, come on, not that one. Mm -hmm. It is a message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Message from Allah. Mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Abdi, mm -hmm. in that card, Abdi the theme, my servant. In another riwayah called it Tirmidhi, Abdana, this is my, my honored servants. Ishtaqtu ilayka. I miss you. I miss you. And I need you. And I miss you. Fazul me. And so come and visit me. Allah send you this. The creator of the heavens and the earth. Guys, Allah himself will send every Muslim, every Abdul in the top of this earth a card. The card says, I miss you, visit me. And this is every Friday. Every Friday there's a door, this door only for that angel. The angel will come from that door and he have a card in his hand. You open the card, it says, my slave, I miss you, visit me. Mm. And look, look how happy he is. Allahu Akbar, brother. Imagine, yes, Allah himself will send you a card. Okay. He's calling. Imagine the creator of the earth, the, cre uh, the one he creates, you create everything. He said, come and visit me. We get excited to say the president was saying, hey, look, I want to have a meeting with you. I'm believing. Imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself sending this message with a small card. My servant is stuck to, I miss you, come and visit me. The fourth door, you will go out from your castle to visit the president of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> The moment you put your right foot outside the house, uh -huh. there is a rain of musk, musk, a beautiful perfume, wow. will cover you. Wow. Until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepare around the throne, in the throne subhanahu wa ta'ala, karasi, chairs, front of the... What is that, man? What is that? Are you watching Muslims? Chairs, four doors, 70,000 slaves in your house? To serve you, 70,000 slaves, Allah having chairs around him, and you will sit around Allah with the chairs. And then if you listen to the, uh, the, to the story, you will see it's a party time. Allah, he will ask David to read from his book, singing, and the birds will be singing with him. And then he asked the Muslims, did you ever hear better than this? They said, no, Allah. Then he asked Muhammad to sing. Then Muhammad, he sang, and the Muslims go crazy. They say to them, did you ever see better than this? They say, no, Allah. Now, isn't it boring? Every Friday, this is this is what will happen. David, he will sing the same song. And then Muhammad will sing the same song. And then everybody say, Allahu Akbar, we never heard this before. This is heaven. Every Friday, we will go there, and we will listen to the same guy. He will say the same thing. And he asks us, did you ever hear better than this? We say, no, Allah, Allah, Akbar, no. Party time, party time. Are you enjoying Abdul? Abdul, are you enjoying the party? 
اشرب ام جيف يو ذا درينك ذس فور درينك انا الله سبحانه وتعالى ان ليسن تو ذس الله سبحانه وتعالى قلت لداود عليه السلام داود ديفيد عليه السلام ستاند اب ماي سيرفنت ديفيد داود ريسايت تو ذيم الزابور ذا سام اوف ديفيد عليه السلام ذا سام ذو بي ريسايت باي ديفيد عليه السلام ديفيد ذا بروفيت ديفيد ديفيد بروفيت ديفيد عليه السلام I love this song and imagine when David عليه السلام reciting the birds would be like reciting after him the river would stop imagine this and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling those people. the rivers will stop like the river he will say to his to the, to the, to the water listen stop Are, do you hear this stop rivers oh, oh, oh. stop the rivers will stop you see Muhammad he knew everything will happen in heaven and this is all is not in the Quran from where Muhammad he got this information we don't know and you know what how stupid this scenario is like what is what is the beauty about something I know exactly every word will be said everything will happen step by step even if somebody fought like you know what I will be upset if somebody start telling me about the movie before I watch it I said to him guy come on listen don't do that let me enjoy the movie don't 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 burn it for me correct he stand them everything will happen and everything will happen is very boring like so what if david is singing and people my servant have you ever heard the beautiful more than that and this is by your glory and your power ya allah we never heard beautiful more than that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is me in the quran is not beauty more than what what uh, what uh, what uh, David will read. This means the Quran say lies that Quran is the most beautiful recitation or book. This means the Muslims they themselves, Muhammad, they are a bunch of liars when they say the Quran is the most beautiful. He will go. The Muslim themselves they will hear David not reading Quran, and David will be reading the Psalms. Okay, great. So Muslims who was Muslims all their life who heard Quran. They will say, we never heard better than this. And then the second singer will stand up. Who is the second singer? Guess what? It's not Michael Jackson. Is the front of you. Now he's reciting to you Surah Taha. Muhammad. Allah Azza wa Jalla will tell you and tell you all of us, my servant, ya ibadi, hal sami'atum afdal min dalik? Have you ever heard I will make you hear more beautiful more than that. Listen, Allah Azza wa Jalla telling Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, stand up Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, recite to them Surah Taha. How much we love Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? How much we follow the steps of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? How much we dream about him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? How much we read about him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Now he's in front of you. All of this, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Each time he say Muhammad, he say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah praise him, Allah praise him, Allah praise him, Allah praise him. No, Allah praise him and salute him. Not only praise him. The translated they say in English, peace upon him. The fact in Arabic doesn't say that. It says Allah praise praise him or pray on him and salute him. Now Muhammad will stand and sing for you and. And he will ask them, did you hear most beautiful than this? They will say, absolutely no, Allah. And this is very boring. This is heaven. Every Friday, I will be listening to David and Muhammad singing. Muhammad, he will read the chapter Taha in the Quran. David, he will read it from the book, supposedly his book. The same verses every Friday. What a boring heaven. What is that? This is the party now? This is the best Allah can do? He got only the singers for us? Nobody dancer? I thought we would have better entertainment. Let us move with the video, see something else. Every person will know his house. You don't need a GPS, you don't need a picture. <laughs> uh, they, we have, as I said, 70,000 servants will just helping you. The moment we enter the Jannah, by the way, there is a group of angels, they will tell you, Salamun Alaikum, Visitum, Fadukhuluha, Salamun Alaikum, they will tell you, Salamun Alaikum. 
Man, this, the angel will sing for you. Salamun alaikum biyutakum fadkhuluwa and peace unto you, dear. How your house is going to it as well. Good thing that's been a good job. <laughs> well done. So we'll be wishing the peace on you. Absolutely. From the beginning, you entered the Jannah. And there is a peace be upon you. So, salamu alaykum. You did a good job. Tabtum fadkhuluha. Kind of like, good job, good work. It does. <laughs> it's exactly. It's a good job. Good work. Yeah, because you really work hard. Yeah. To reach that place. Yeah. yeah. And so, tabtum And you will enter the Jannah. And imagine every person will know his house. <laughs> You don't need a GPS, you don't need a map, um, you don't need anything. Um, the um, angels will take your servants, will take you to your place in the Jannah. Oh, and imagine with me here. The moment you enter with your right foot, you will find your couches. Couches. And you lay down. What are you going to see, you think? What do you think? You're going to see the ceiling of your... Just wait, guys. Let me see how good you are. What you will see when you are laying down in your couch... Who want to tell me what we will see when you are laying down in your couch? Anyone knows? When you lay down in your couch, what we will see? No. You will see the butt of Allah because simply your house is under the chair of Allah. <laughs> Allah butt in the top of you. You are living under his butt. Listen. Place if you the, the, your place in the Jannah, your castle, it is the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> Part of the throne of Allah, and you look at the how beautiful is that? <laughs> and you're really relaxing, and your servants around you, and, uh, and that is from and, and, and uh, is the bricks, the bricks, one brick of gold, and one of bricks of silver, one gold, one silver, and and, and the zephron. And uh, rubies and diamond is that the diamond? Floor. Imagine this and the cups, cup of silver, cup of gold, and and you have everything that you things you cannot even imagine. We cannot even describe that what we read in the Quran, we read in the Sunnah. But in reality, the guys, did he say anything about the black stones in heaven? He said rubies, he said jewelries, he said gold, he said silver. The floor from the from the rubies, from diamonds, right? But did he say any black stones? No. It's not exist there. It's more beautiful more than that. You things you cannot even imagine. I'm telling you. Whatever I describe, you know, for example, uh, you eat in the Jannah. There is a password. Mm -hmm. In the Jannah there is a password. What that, is that password? Password. Is that, yeah. Subhanallah. Password. Subhanallah. 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 That's it. For example, what is the passport? You see in the tub a bird, a beautiful bird. You wish, only you wish. That bird is for you. That bird, it have like a, a roasted bird. You say, Subhanallah, you have it. <laughs> you say, Alhamdulillah. So, this is a password everybody know now. <laughs> It's a password. You say Subhanallah. You look at the bird. You say Subhanallah. He will be between your hands. If you see your, the wife of your, your your friend, you say Subhanallah. She will be in your lap. You know. You see the what is that, man? What is that, this fantasy? Yeah. You know, Muslims. Do you have a brain? Any Muslim, for God's sake, you have a brain? What's up, Muslims? Like, come on, man. And if Allah will give you all the food you want, everything you want, you have 70,000 servant. And then you see uh, a bird in the fly, in a fly and you say, I, I wish to have him, he will be between your hands. This is the password. 